Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connection Standalone. RAM Connection Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections. It can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. In this particular, we're going to be focusing on the workflow to assign a moment angle or a moment T connection to a joint for resisting the moment reaction. We will now turn our attention to our sample model in RAM connection standalone. And I'm going to prepare to assign a moment angle or a moment T to joint number two. Now a moment angle or a moment T is a moment connection. And since this joint has both a shear and a moment reaction imposed upon it, I've already taken care of the shear component with a simple shear reaction. I'm now at the point in my workflow where I'm ready to assign my moment connection. When you are ready to assign your moment connection to the currently selected joint, you can go to the Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and click on the Assign icon. Now to assign a moment angle or a moment T to the currently selected joint, I can either access this through a basic or a smart connection workflow. I'm going to go with a smart connection workflow and I'm looking for the acronym of SMART MA for moment angle. So here I have the option for a SMART MA bolted connection. I'll go ahead and select it and allow RAM connection to assign a moment connection to the currently selected joint. Now that that process has concluded, I'm going to take a look at my joint selection area. Now as it stands right now, I have two different connection templates assigned to this joint, a shear connection template and a moment connection template. And within the joint selection area, I'm going to see the controlling interaction ratio. And I can see that both of these connections are currently passing the code check since the interaction ratio is less than 1.0 and the green indicator light is displayed. Now, if I'd like to edit either of these connections, I can go to the Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and click on the Edit icon. And you can see here you can edit your shear or moment connection independently. Let's take a look at the moment connection so we can see the additional options that are available to us. Now, you can assign either a moment angle or a moment T. Through the Smart Connection workflow, it's going to automatically assign an angle to the, as the connecting component. So here you can see I can change to a T angle or T section if I'd like, and I can search the T database for a section that I'd prefer. I'm going to switch it back to angle for this exercise since that worked fairly well for this joint. As I scroll down, you can see you can adjust your section properties, your material properties for your connector. You can also adjust the bolting size and hole information for both the beam side and the support side. Now, if needed, I do have the option to add transverse stiffeners and also column web panel zone stiffeners if I found myself into a position where I wanted to add some reinforcement to this joint. Now, before I leave the connection pad, let's go ahead and take a look at our results. So if I click on the results icon and I can scroll on down, I can see all of the geometric considerations and the design checks that were performed for this moment connection. If I'd like some additional information, I can click on the view formulas icon where I'd be able to see all the formulas and variables that were used to arrive at these results. In addition to that, if I went to the DXF view, I'd be able to see the detailing of this connection. Now what you're going to notice in the DXF view is any of the font indicated in blue is an interactive field, meaning that if I click on a, any parameter here, it would bring me automatically to that location in the data panel. And then I can make some adjustments if I felt like I needed to. At this point, I'm satisfied with my connection design. I didn't make any changes, so I don't need to save it. So I'll just close out of the connection pad. Now at this point, this concludes my entire workflow for assigning connections to joint number two. This included assigning a shear connection to take care of the shear reaction that's imposed on the beam to the column and applying a moment connection to take care of the moment component of the reaction. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. 
If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.